Sometimes science needs a little bit of time to reveal something more interesting. Discoveries often exist for centuries before we stumble across them and make sense of what we have found. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three interesting discoveries that were centuries old by the time they were revealed. A 3,000-year-old Bible discovered in Turkey In 2015, a Bible was discovered in the city of Tokat, Turkey. The Bible was not your typical everyday edition of the good book. However, this particular Bible has been dated back between 101 AD and 200 AD. The Turkish police uncovered the artifact during an operation to stop the smuggling of ancient objects to other countries. Alongside the Bible, the police found a collection of expensive jewellery, 53 ancient coins and two arrowheads. The origin of the Bible is unknown, as is its maker. The cover of the book was unfortunately damaged beyond repair, but the illustrations within it, decorated using gold leaf, have been said to form the image of Jesus Christ and Mary. The text within is written in ancient Assyrian, and the Bible has only about 50 pages left inside, most of which are in relatively good but delicate condition. The pages are stunning and, albeit faded, their gorgeous imagery is a feat to behold, even today. In recent times, Tokat has become a place infamous for the crime of smuggling mysterious artifacts, made only more prominent in 2015 when the painting Orphan Man Standing by Vincent van Gogh was discovered in the back of a car of a suspected smuggler. This led to the eventual discovery of the golden decorated Bible, which theologians prayed would give further insight into biblical matters and the ways in which Christianity developed over time. However, Nothing specific has yet been shared with the public concerning the contents of this millennium-old book. What did Jesus look like? Ever since Christianity sowed its seeds into the ground of common culture, the question of what did Jesus Christ look like has accompanied it. The Bible itself offers little insight, but for the past few centuries, a specific image of Jesus has become a staple in the Western and European world. Fair skin, wavy chestnut hair that falls down to his chest, a beard, and more often than not, eyes of crystal blue. This is the view of Jesus, which has been passed down for generations, depicted as such in a myriad of devotional pieces and church stained glass windows. This version of Jesus is recognizable anywhere, and yet it's not an accurate depiction. Several aspects feed into why this version of Jesus, which we're all so accustomed to, even exists, though it's believed it began in the Byzantine era during the 4th century AD. The Byzantines portrayed Jesus in a symbolic manner. They valued meaning and creative significance above realism. In fact, the clothing worn by Jesus in many depictions is reminiscent of robes worn by Hellenic pagan gods use, as the early portrayals of Christ were inspired by pagan artworks and grandiose devotional sculptures. Long, wavy hair and beards were a symbol, then, of divinity and godhood. The artists of the Byzantine Empire wished to make Jesus akin to a younger Zeus. Most interestingly, when early Christians were not depicting Jesus as the divine ruler of heaven, they tended to portray him as a man normal in most ways, that is to say, short-haired and not bearded, though beards were thought to make philosophers and sage men stand out amongst the common people. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, considered beards to be appropriate according to nature for men of wisdom. It's long been speculated that our modern image of Jesus is actually based on the infamous son of the sinful Pope, as it is around the height of his glory that paintings of Jesus begin to resemble a more Western European depiction which looks suspiciously like the papal commander. However, there is a lack of conclusive evidence that could prove this to be the truth, so speculations are all we have in regard to this theory. Richard Neve, a forensic anthropologist, took part in a BBC documentary, Son of God, in 2001, for which he created a digital model of a Galilean man. Neve did not claim this to be a recreation of Jesus Christ's face and explained that it was meant to merely spark the idea that, maybe, Jesus would have been a man of his region and time, 
that is to say, not the Western depiction we've come to recognize. For his model, he used an authentic skull discovered in the area. Robert Cargill, an assistant professor of classical civilizations and religion at the University of Iowa stated, We don't know what Jesus looked like, but if all of the things that we do know about him are true, he was a Palestinian Jewish man living in Galilee in the first century. So, he would have looked like a Palestinian Jewish man of the first century. He would have looked like a Jewish Galilean. Russian archaeologists find elongated skull with perfect teeth. The next discovery involves elongated skulls similar to the Paraka skulls. Only this time, the findings were even more unnerving. A female skeleton was found with an astonishing set of teeth that had been preserved for between 1700 and 2000 years. This skeleton was found in Russia at a 4,000-year-old site, Arkane, that is often referred to as Russia's Stonehenge. The site is home to the remains of a structure, and it has become a hotspot for psychics, clairvoyance, and more. Before discovering the skull at Arkane, many visitors had unusual experiences there, describing hallucinations and strange anomalies. People have even claimed to see UFOs at the site, bringing others along in hopes that they could see UFOs as well. Since purposely elongating skulls is a practice from the past, by using force or a wrap to mould a child or baby's head, finding an elongated skull isn't all that mysterious. Many have tried to claim the skulls are from aliens, due to their unique look but researchers know this to be false. With that being said, no one is quite sure why cranial deformation was practiced thousands of years ago. Some potential theories consist of using it for men to look more masculine or perhaps to distinguish between a higher social class. Elongated skulls are found in many ancient civilizations but it still does not provide an answer for how a full set of teeth was preserved over that many years. When trying to determine if the skeleton was from the original Arkham civilization, they used radiocarbon dating and found it came from a significantly earlier time. The woman was believed to have come from a tribe known as the Sarmatians, but there isn't enough evidence to prove that this is correct at the moment. It's almost impossible to believe that her teeth could stay intact for such a long period without modern methods of preservation. 